I'm back. I honestly do not know if this is gonna be the setup or not. I'm experimenting with like a few different things to see what's gonna work best for these videos. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I like this so far. Right now, look at, we got like day old eyeliner on, you know, we're living our full fantasy today. I might be like actually at a makeup desk for these in the future, but for right now, we're just, we're gonna be in my little streaming section because this is kind of where I do all of my content at the moment. Don't get used to this or get used to this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the background or the way this is set up and um the next video might be completely different than this one but we'll see how it goes i haven't been on youtube for at least seven years i don't remember look at the timestamp of the last video then you'll know because that's the that's gonna be the real answer to that question there <laughs> But I used to do a bunch of unboxings here on YouTube. But now that I've done a lot on Twitch and I've created like my own little community over there, everyone's been asking about doing like not live videos, having more like YouTube style videos. And so I was like, all right, besties, bet, you know, like we're gonna do it. So I decided we're gonna start bringing in some YouTube style videos, starting with Ipsy, which is something that I used to unbox years ago. Um, and then when I re-signed up for Ipsy, I discovered that it's not just like this little bag anymore. Like you can still get the little bag, but then there's glam bl bag plus, and then like a box. I don't know what all the official terms are. I probably should, but I don't. I got the medium one, the just like the big bag not the little bag but the big bag but not the box we're, we're not at that level yet okay maybe one day but today is not that day so this is an unboxing of the whatever the medium one ipsy bag is so this is for february of 2023 and i haven't opened it or anything yet so this will be completely completely blind reaction. Oh, I already love this bag. Iconically, Ipsy is known for its bags. I used to collect the little tiny Ipsy bags that you would get, and that's like the first one that you can get. Um, the first, oh, to specify the difference, the little bags, which was like the ones that I was used to that they had forever, and I guess they've upgraded in life, was just like samples of makeup products. The one that I have is full-size products, and then there's a box that's like full-size products, but like a shit ton of full-size products. Um, we're just doing like, I think it's like five full-size products. And then what I thought would be really fun, since I'm obviously like not done up or anything, I thought maybe we could try to put together like a makeup look with these products, and then like some products that I already have, but try to do some, you, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This is the bag. I love this bag. It says self-love is the best love, which is super cute. Um, and it's got a nice drawstring. Oh God. It's got a nice drawstring on it. I love these bags. Well, the little bags I use all the time for like little trinkets and stuff. These bags I use specifically for drag. When I go out to drag events, I put all my makeup and stuff in here or like my gloves, my burlesque gloves, my panties, like everything like that. I will put them all in these little bags and it's helped me stay very organized. So I'm in love with just having the bags alone. But let's pop into what's inside. We got their little card that they do. It says, you are loved, yada, yada. Oh, it does have like little affirmations in here. It says, I'm the creator of the world. I want to live in every day. Oh my God, you know what I just realized? I have this heater on next to me. I'm sure that is like clogging up the audio. Hold on, let me turn this off. Are you done? She needs a second to cool down. Two hours later. Okay, she's off. Maybe the audio is a little bit better. Maybe you didn't even hear it at all. I don't know, but I'm not gonna refilm that. So sorry if the heater was like super annoying. The other affirmation says, I will create an environment that is healthy and whole. I will see beauty in my inner self and not just my appearance. I will do the work and I will show up for myself every day. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. 
Okay, anyway, moving on to the bag. We're just gonna stick our hand in and see what we find. First we have, oh my god, yes. Okay, we have mascara from Fenty Beauty. I fuck with Fenty Beauty hard, so I already know that I am going to love this. Look at this gorgeous bottle. So gorgeous. Oh no, my backdrop. I thought it'd be cute to have that up. I don't know. You Let me know in the comments if that's cute or not, because that's the screen that I have on Twitch. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I fuck with Fenty Beauty. I'm very excited to use this. I don't think I've ever used their mascara before, um, but I fuck with their other products, so I am totally good with this. I'm going to break down this box real quick and just throw it in my little Twitch pile. Okay, next. What do we got? We got Oveen, or is it supposed to be Queen, but it's like O-V-E-E-N. I think it's Queen. I think it's pronounced Queen. Hopefully I am right. Queen Studios. Never heard of them before. This is Dragon Duo Liquid and Wax Pencil Dragon Liner Set. So far this looks bitchin'. I'm about it. Beautiful. Oh, little little wax liner. That's very nice. I don't know how well you can tell. Look how like fancy that is. That's gorgeous. And then look, it's like this is a liquid liner. Yeah, a little felt tip liquid liner. Okay, we're gonna need that today because my eyes are all fucked up. So that's good. Oh, something else to know about this Ipsy bag. When they first send it to you, you can customize some of it like on your own, which I think is really cool. And it does include a lot of like skincare things. And I really love skincare stuff. I love trying new skincare stuff. Because honestly, if I go to a store specifically to buy skincare items, I don't know what the fuck to buy. So if they just send it to me, I'm like lit. I guess I'll give this a go. So this looks like it's a skincare product. It's Kate Somerville. All skin types. Uh, Exfoli Kate. How adorable. All right, what else we have? We got about two more things for, that I can feel in here. We got, oh my god, another Fenty Beauty work, bitch. And you know what's funny is so, you know how I said that I can like pick the products that go in the box? I literally have no idea what I even picked. So it's basically Christmas for me. I probably picked the two Fenty things. <laughs> but I don't even remember. They might have been part of just the products that they sent me. But regardless, it's included in the thing. So I do not care. This is a Fenty Beauty. It looks like it's the, oh, sculpting brow wax pencil and styler okay bitch let's go so it looks like this and it's got two sides oh look at this little brush it looks like a like, little tiny toothbrush that's so cute and then we have oh looks like that's the wax it comes out like that very cool i have like half brows i like shave them all the way to the half so i'm trying to think of like fun ways i can like with my brows. Last product that's in the bag here, we have something that's wrapped in bubble wrap. Very cute pink bubble wrap though, I will say. We got MOTD Blush Duo. Oh, work, I love a blush. I love a blush. Ooh, this is actually really beautiful packaging. So it is sealed, sealed? I don't know. It's held together by this little elastic band, which I really like, so it's great for travel. Um, no mirror on the inside. Hate that, but it's fine. We're not salty about it or anything, but look at these beautiful little duo color in there. That's gorgeous. It says, you, you be you only better. Does this open? Nope. It's just holding the elastic thing on here. Okay. We have this exfoliant, which I'll go use real quick. And then we have the Fenty brow wax and brush thingy. We got the Queen liners, which are gonna be beautiful. I can already tell, just their packaging already, like their packaging alone is really gorgeous. And then we got the Fenty mascara. So BRB, I'll go wash my face and I'll use the exfoliate and I'll let you know what I think. Oh, and the blush. We also have this blush. <laughs> We're gonna use that too. And we're gonna put together a look with all the other products that I have and I'll let you know what other products I use as well. Um, but BRB, let me go wash my face. <laughs> so I thought I'd come back a second and just kind of show you this product because I started putting it on and I was like, oh my God, I have to show you. So first of all, it comes out green. It comes out green. Um, and it, it has a very familiar smell and I can't think of it, but like it wants you to just get all up in there, get the green everywhere. It smells delicious, but I'm like, hmm. My mom used to sell, I know, I guess she still does, sells like essential oils and stuff. And so I'm like, God, it just smells like my mom's like office. 
I can't, I can't figure out the smell. Let me see. There's no ingredients on this. I'm sure it's somewhere on the box. I don't fucking know. What do we have on here? Anything? Fruit oil. Oh, bergamot. Bergamot. It's got bergamot, lavender. Nope, that's not cinnamon. That's a different word. Rosewood, orange peel. If that gives you a little bit of the vibes. I need to go wet my skin a bit more. It's a little mean to the skin, but I, like it's an exfoliant. So like, that's cool, whatever. Also to let y'all know what I wash my face with is I normally wash my face with CeraVe. Um, I use the foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. So let me go finish doing that and I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So my face has been washed. My hair has been put up. I am ready to party. I will say about the exfoliant is it did, my, my skin might be a little sensitive to it. I don't know if it took super well, but once I like was really getting in there with water, it started to feel a lot better on my skin. So I think you just need to have like a shit ton of water when using this, don't do it super dry. But also that's cause it's an exfoliant, so I I see you. I see you beauty bitches about to get up in my comments like, duh. But I'm just telling y'all, for people that may not know, make sure you use a shit ton of water with this because or else it like, it really hurts your skin. <laughs> my skin feels beautiful and smooth and lovely. So what I'm gonna do is, I have like a couple little marks on me today. I don't like to do foundation a lot, so we're just gonna go ahead and just like throw on some powder to just even out my skin a little bit because I don't need to do anything like super crazy today. We don't have any like super crazy products. Look at me, my little kimchi mirror. I don't know if this looks good or not, but this is what we're gonna do for the rest of the video because then you can see me and I can see the mirror and it's working out great. So don't come for me. I am not sponsored by Kimchi, but she is great and she makes great mirror. I'm going in with, actually, this is an Ipsy product I got a little while back. It is Rena Rebelde. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Finishing powder in Perla. And I just think it's really beautiful because it has that little tattoo lady on there and just even out my skin and just get the nice translucent powder on there instead of doing some crazy liquid foundation right now because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like doing liquid foundation all of the time. I only really do it unless I'm like really going out and like, or I'm feeling really insecure about my skin that day, you know, cause we, we all do that, we have that. Those are normal things, it's totally fine. We got a nice little base level on there. For those curious, I'm using the Trixie Cosmetics little powder puff. You're gonna see that I pretty much only exclusively have Trixie Cosmetics things. Um, and Hex Baby Beauty. If you go to Hex Baby Beauty, use my code Lucy for official. That's L-U-C-Y-F-E-R official to get a little discount. She's my girl. I love Hex Baby Beauty. So we got the base down. I'm really terrible with brushes. And in the fact that I probably should clean them more often, but I just reuse them because the pigment, like, just transfer it over, it's fine. You can just keep adding to it. But I wanna make sure we actually get this color on today for what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna pull some of the pigment out of my brushes. Again, brushes, Trixie Cosmetics brushes. I'm using the P11 brush today, which is the one that I like to use for blush. And we're gonna, we're gonna jump into this guy. This is the MOTD. Is it just moated? Motted? Am I saying it wrong? I obviously know a lot of things and I'm very educated in everything that I'm doing. Pink Lace Blush Duo. So we're just gonna go ahead and dip into that. And how I like to put on blush is I like to put it next to my eyes and then go down a little bit to like right about here. So far it is very transparent. I tend to go for something a little bit more pigmented, very much like a baby pink, baby pink blush. It looks very natural, I will say that. Like it's just that or the fact that I'm just like really red today. <laughs> it's fine. But I can tell you right now, it's not giving the pigment I usually go for and that's okay. We're just experimenting with stuff today. And for certain looks, especially if I did like foundation, for certain looks, I really do think that this would be nice. Um, nice little subtle, but it's not giving the oomph I usually go for and that's okay. And then I like to do just a little bit on my nose. Um, fuck, I wanna keep adding more on here, but I also wanna move on to the next part. Very light, very light pink, 
very translucent, but it's fine. We're going to move on. So that's, that's this so far. It's okay. It's okay. I will use it. I think it'll look a lot better if I did a look with foundation, um, because it will show up a lot more under my like red skin that's popping out today. It also might be just like a little red from the exfoliant, not gonna lie. I wanna pop into this though. This is the Fenty Beauty wax pen thing. I don't really use wax very much. So this is gonna be a little adventure for all of us. I'm just gonna go ahead and go against the grain here and get that wax on there. Oh my gosh, <gasps> look at it. <laughs> and then we'll use a little brush and let's see if we just go straight up with it. <laughs> We can do like a really like wild, wild look today. Look at that. Comparative. Don't know how much you can truly tell. Um, it's like severely different in person, but I feel like on camera you can't see as well. And I'm just brushing over to the way it would go like whoosh, um, but up, up and over. And then these guys I wanna bring out just a little bit to add the drop. I hope I'm using this right, honestly. Go ahead and ooh, ooh. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I kind of fuck with this. Okay, that's how I did it. Cool. Now we're gonna get into these liners, which I'm most excited about. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with the liquid liner. This is the Queen liquid liner. Um, does it have? It's just called the Dragon Liner. I don't think it's a very specific one. I think it's just a black liner. So far, it's going on very well. It looks like it's takes a second to dry, which means I could do this and mark the top. See how I marked it like that? A lot of people will be like, no, don't look up. It's gonna get all over your lid. I like it, especially because I have hooded eyes. So it's like, you can't, when my eyes are open, you can't see that. So I like to just cover that entire section with black. Cause look, watch. Eyes are open. Oh, eyes are closed. Whole other world down there. All right, cool. So we got the lid covered. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna add the wing here. Um, I just kind of like whoop and then connect. I don't do the like this thing, even though it's kind of following that. Um, but when it comes to hooded eyes, my hood goes even further down. It goes down to here. So what I try to do is I try to follow this the bottom part of my eye, where it's going this way, um, and just, just whoop, you know, just whoop. You have to do it with your eyes like completely open. That's kind of a big wing, but it's okay. I guess we're doing a big wing today. Go like that, and then just connect. And see how we got like those little bat wings there? I'm just gonna meow, connect it. What do they say? The bigger the liner, the closer to Satan, right? Isn't that the term? <laughs> All right, other side. Oh, I blinked. I made like a little thing. That's okay, we just make it bigger. Oh God. We gotta make this side bigger real quick, hold on. All right, so we got some big ass wings on there. So far, this is great. The liner is a little sticky. And that's fine. That's kind of normal for a lot of liquid liners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this liner with um, my Ghost Face palette from Hex Baby Beauty. Remember, my I got my little code, so don't forget to use my little code, Lucy for official. I'm just going to go ahead and set that liner on there. So when I blink, it doesn't stick. And I'm just using the black, um, I think, oh, on this palette, it's called Scream on the ghost face palette. Lovely. We're gonna add the little, I guess everybody's calling it the like siren eye where you like add a little tail on the inside. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I made it kind of long, but it's fine. Next, we're gonna go in with the other liner that we got from Queen, the like little wax liner. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that on the waterline. Ooh. Ooh, I fucks with this. This goes on really smooth. Ooh, I fuck with this. Okay, yes. My eyes tend to water a lot in the corner. So what I like to do is I like to put a little extra wax liner in the corner there to hopefully prevent any watering in my eye. And then I also will go in with shadow to like set it like this right here. Sometimes that prevents the water. 
sometimes it doesn't not gonna lie now we're just gonna add more eyeshadow we're using the hex baby scream palette again or ghost face ghost face palette in the color scream buff the liner out i'm only going like halfway on my eye here since i got this like long middle thing i don't know the the middle thing i got going on you know what i'm talking about it's fine we're gonna use the which one is this this is the gingerbread little gingerbread cookie from miss trixie cosmetics i pretty much only use this color these ones i don't really use very much but i only use this color and we're gonna just contour my nose a bit again a lot of this contour would be way more dramatic if i put on foundation but we're not doing that today and that's okay i didn't want to and so i don't have to and the thing is is i can still put together a really bussin look without having to do all that because sometimes it just ain't it girl sometimes it just ain't it we got a nose now she looking cute then of course we got the queen fenty Fenty Beauty. This is their contour. I use Private Island. Number three, Sunstalker. Also, this like case itself is like basically its own little mirror. Like, look at you can you can see yourself. Hello. And then it also has a mirror on the inside. And I fuck with that. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little contour, shape out the cheeks a bit. I like to go right in there. And then up to the temples, and then around the face a little bit. If I'm really feeling extra, sometimes I'll do right here on my chin. Look at the way my brows are just like, yes. The wax doesn't harden, so when I put my eyebrows up like this, usually it's because I'm using Elmer's glue. <laughs> and I'm doing a little glue stick to put down my brows for drag. Um, but that's not what we're doing here today so it's it's interesting having it still be kind of like wet and movable let's see where's the here's the brush side you can still like shape it so it doesn't necessarily stay completely still but it does shape it for sure but that's something i would keep in mind if you're trying to like get your brows on lock this moves a little bit i Need to grab something for my lips. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. First, um, what I got for my lips is I got some chapstick from my beauty brand, Catacomb Cosmetics. Please go check it out. This is our strawberry chapstick. Um, and when I filmed this video, it's not yet released, but maybe I'll release it with this video or something. I was supposed to for Valentine's Day, but then life happened. And I have a lot of like packaging stuff that I need to get. Um, but anyway, you should totally go follow my Catacomb Cosmetics brand new. I like literally just launched this last, this last October. Um, so definitely support small business. Let me know what you think of my products. And follow Catacomb Beauty on Instagram, Catacomb Beauty on Twitter, all the other social medias. It's all under Catacomb Beauty. And then we're gonna go in with, I think this is Vampira. Yeah, Vampira from KVD. Lips are one of those things that's like, it could go wrong so quickly. You gotta have that good concentration. And this is the look. Let me get my hair down real quick and we, oh, computer. She's feeling shy again. I gotta change those settings so it actually stays on. So it's not just like some blank computer. But anyway, this is the look that we've created with all of the products that we got today. To go back over it, we have the translucent, it's not translucent, <laughs> there's me being shady, the blush. That is pretty translucent, I'm not going to lie. Um, not, not a huge fan of this. I think with foundation and like 20 layers, it could look really cute, but like, the redness in my face is overpowering the the color of this blush. So, not my favorite. That's fine. They're not trying to impress me. I may just not be the person for this. Um, but I'll still use it in certain looks. It, it will definitely come in handy for very specific situations. We also have the two liners. 
I love these liners. They went on really well. They're very sharp. They're a little liquidy. Take a second to dry when it comes to the liquid liner, but this wax liner, girl, it's everything. I really fuck with this wax liner. So Queen, Queen, I think is what it's called. Queen, you're doing a great job. Absolutely love your liners. Oh, fuck, we didn't do the mascara. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the Fenty mascara. We'll just do that together real quick. Look at this little fluffy brush. It's like kind of flat on one side and then a little fluffy. Oh my God, what am I doing? I should be using the mirror. Hello? Where did I put you? Oh, you're over here. I got it. It's fine. Let me do this really quick. We'll get back to our reviews. Don't you worry. Going on very well. Mascara is always a thing that I forget. Literally when I'm doing my makeup all the time. I think it's because I do such big liner looks that I forget. I have eyelashes. That or I throw on like a pair of falsies, which Catacomb Cosmetics does also sell lashes. So if you need a little lash in your life, go, go follow my brand. Shameless plug. It's fine. <laughs> oh, this is going on so beautifully. Yeah, naturally, I adore it. I love it. It's got a nice fluffy, fluffy brush. I love that it's like thinner on one side and then fluffier on the other side. So you can do volume and length together. And I feel like in the video, you're not going to be able to see a damn difference because I put on a shit ton of eyeliner. Love the liner. We stand Fenty. Fenty is doing great. When it comes to this like wax thing, let me look in the mirror again. I want to look at it. I think it's really cool. It's just you cannot touch your brows once you put it on. Like I'm just being real. It's just for like you, you do it and then you do not touch them. I bet if you put water on me though that they would not move. So that's really cool. I do like this like flared effect that it's creating. Flared? I think that's the word I'm trying to use. Flared is fine. I fuck with this. I think I need a little bit more experience with it to really fuck with it. But so far with like not being somebody that uses like wax things, I fuck with it. It's pretty good. The last thing that we got today in our little box is the Exfoli Kate from Kate Somerville. And honestly, I, I like it. It's got a very beautiful scent. It is very scented though. So if you're somebody that doesn't like scents, this may not be for you. My skin was a little sensitive to it, but I don't think in like a bad way. Um, my face isn't hot or anything. So I think it was just like, oh shit, we exfoliating. Okay, we weren't prepared for this. Um, so I think it's a really great product. If I change my mind on it, because you know with skincare, like the first time you use it, it could be great or it could be terrible the first time you use it. But then like later it ends up being great or bad, you know, it just really depends. So I'll keep y'all updated on my skincare when it comes to this guy. That's everything we got in our little Ipsy bag today. And oh no, I dropped one. Venti, no. We got it in this beautiful little pink, what is it called? Tie-dye, I guess. It looks like a tie-dye. It looks like those when you like do those pour arts. It looks like that. It's really pretty. Again, on here it says self-love is the best love, which is very cute. And it's got a nice little drawstring. It's a nice little bag. I fuck with it. That's our little Ipsy unboxing. Let me know. Oh my God, my computer. Let me know if y'all like this background area that I have going on, if this is it or not. Um, let me know what you think of the way that I'm doing videos now. I want this to be just like, very chill, very relaxed. I just want us to hang out. I just want us to vibe. So hopefully you're cool with that. Um, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. I do plan to do these Ipsy videos every month. So that is one thing that is hopefully consistent. But if you know me and you follow me on Twitch, consistency is a fun game we like to play that we often lose. <laughs> so I hope to see you next month for the Ipsy bag and Hopefully I'll be making more YouTube videos. We'll see how it goes. But I hope you have an absolutely lovely day. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. <laughs>